Hello and welcome to a two-tone tutorial. I'm going to talk through making a piece of music from some data. So let's get started and take a look at the data set we're going to import. Uh, this is uh, time use data from the Basque country in Spain uh, that we got from their open data website. Uh, and this is uh, daily time use data, aggregate time use data of how people are using their time throughout the average day. So we've taken the data from their website and changed around the formatting a little bit in a way that will work best with two-tone. Uh, so this is uh, LibreOffice, but you can use Excel or almost any other spreadsheet. Um, and this is an Excel file which two-tone will uh, successfully import. Um, so what's important is that we have our data in columns with the headers across the top with the name of each column and then uh, each row is one item of data. Um, I have just for convenience I have the the rows frozen at the top which will have no effect on how the data is imported or exported but it's just kind of nice to have it this way so we can see what's going on. Um, so each Item, uh, each line uh, tells you what percentage of the population is doing that activity at any given time. And it's broken down into five minute chunks throughout the day. Uh, so we have our data and it's formatted. So now let's go back over to Two-Tone and get started. And it's going to ask us for the data for source. So we can just open up the folder here and drag it right on in. And it's been added now to our library of data sources, and we'll just select that and get started. Uh, and we're going to skip the tutorial. So the first thing that Two-Tone does is it automatically creates a musical scale track for us uh, based on the first column of data, which in this case is time. So we can, we can preview here that the data has been imported. Um, and the time, we're not going to use that to output time because it's just it all increases all in a row. Um, so we'll start with psychological needs. So this is an interesting uh, piece of data and, and I think it makes sense. We start at midnight and we go throughout the day to midnight and we see that of course early, late at night, early in the morning most people are asleep and then it kind of falls off into further and further into the morning and then we have kind of the late afternoon. This is Spain so presumably this is the afternoon siesta and then it kind of drops down again, and then people start to go asleep again at night. Um, so that makes sense. So I'm going to choose, uh, the first thing we do is want to set, um, we can adjust this later, but I'm going to set the total duration of the piece. Um, I'm going to set this down to about uh, half a second per row. Uh, so it gives us about 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Um, so each, each line here is one row of data, and it'll play for half a second for each one. And that gives us about two and a half minutes, uh, which is a, it's a good amount of time to, to listen to a data source of this size. So let's, um, let's play that and see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's one note per row of data uh, played on a piano. And uh, it's okay, it's kind of, boring a little bit. So, so the higher the value, the higher the pitch the note. So when we come out over here, we'll see them going lower and lower. Okay, so I think we can make this much more interesting. Uh, so we're going to click on here to get some advanced options. Um, first of all, I'm going to change this instrument to the glockenspiel, uh, which just I think kind of suits uh, eat and sleep and taking care of yourself a little bit just in character. Um, so um, Two-Tone comes with a library of instruments and most of these are, are samplers so they're pretty decent quality. Um, so let's see what that sounds like. Okay, uh, not bad but I think we can make this a little more interesting. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale range to three octaves. So it plays over a, a longer range of pitches. 
so we get some more with if the range of pitches is longer then that means the distance between any two consecutive notes can be a, a greater um, kind of musical step and we'll get a little bit finer grained uh, expression of our data um, we'll keep the default key of C major um, and we can work with that now Okay, so we've got our, we're expressing higher values as higher pitched and lower values as lower pitched. But I think we can do a little bit more interesting than that, uh, something more interesting than that. So for this, we're going to use the filter feature. Um, this is pretty cool. It allows us to uh, select values within a certain range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make different tracks for different ranges of values in this data. So, um, well first let's see. So one of the, the options we have is we can kind of do a, a tempo multiplier for this track. So instead of say playing one note per beat, we can play two notes per beat. And it's gonna create kind of an arpeggio, so it's gonna do different steps. So let's see what that sounds like. Uh, and that's in our ascending, ascending arpeggio over two notes, or we can do descending. Here it's in reverse. Um, we can do in four. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is to add another layer of expression, I'm gonna create uh, high, middle, and low ranges for the psychological needs data. Um, so let's say for the high, we'll have this four beat arpeggio and let's make it ascending. And I'm gonna set this to only play at about, let's say, let's say about this range here. Okay, so we're gonna hear nothing for now and it just kind of plays at that range and we can fast forward a little bit. And then as we get out of that range, it's silent again. Okay, so now we'll create another track for the mid range. So we'll set our data to psychological needs and we'll do the same instrument. Um, we've copied over the key and the scale range um, but now I'm going to set this one to just a, a two-beat arpeggio, and we'll make this one descending just so it sounds a little bit different. And this will be our mid-range. So I'm going to go uh, at the high end, I'm going to filter it out to the same value that we had before, which I think was about here. And that way they won't overlap, so you'll see anywhere that this high range is playing, the mid-range is not playing. And we'll go for the low value to, let's drag this one to, let's say, yeah, about 0 0.3. And let's see, so now let's see what that sounds like. Great. Let's fast forward. Great, so now we, we have another dimension expressing uh, of expressiveness with as the values change. So we've got both pitch and this kind of complexity. Um, and then finally we'll add a low end range. So again, we'll set this to psychological needs and glockenspiel, and I'll set this down back to one note per beat. And this will match that was 0.3. And there we go. So now between all of these three different tracks, we should be covering most of our range. So we'll just have this kind of, let's see how we go as we descend here. So Cool, so I think that works pretty well. Uh, so let's add another piece of data now. Um, 
and then we'll go to what else we've got we've got work and training okay so I'm gonna keep that at piano because that feels like that's kind of you know the the bulk of getting stuff done during the day and piano is sort of a kind of a workhorse instrument so let's use that so I'm gonna set this to scale range to four octaves um, so each instrument has a different range of, of it, you know, how, how wide it can go in terms of capabilities. Um, you know, piano's got a lot more keys uh, than, than the glockenspiel has, um, so it, it's got a longer range. But we'll work with, I think, four octaves is enough for now. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to set uh, for the high end, we'll do a 4x, 4 four notes per beat and we'll do a descending arpeggio and I'm going to set that think about yeah I think that's where I want it okay and then let's do a mid-range set to piano and We'll go, this one's going to be a 2x, and we'll do that one ascending, and we'll set this one. Okay, so again, we want to set the high end to match the previous track so that they don't overlap. There you go. And then I'll set the low end to... It's about here. Okay, so this one's a little different because, so, so this was um, Psychological Needs, Eat and Sleep, um, which people are doing almost throughout the day at some point. There's very little time when nobody's doing it. Um, whereas work and training, we see really people stop doing it um, for a good chunk of kind of that s super late night, early morning. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is... Uh, rather than just that can get as all the values are the same it can get kind of droney just pl kind of plucking that same you know hammering that same one low note for a long time and it gets kind of boring so um, I think we're just going to do a mid-range and a high range so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disable mute the glockenspiel tracks for a little while uh, just so we can hear the two piano tracks um, so that's going to be nothing until we get to about here so let's see what that sounds like Okay, great. Uh, so that's pretty good so far. Let's just let's just listen a little bit to the whole thing together. Um, so when we're playing the Glockenspiel and the piano together, um, these two tracks, and we can see how they kind of play on and off against each other. Um, now all of our tracks are in the same key, so they should sound okay together. Let's just try that. Um, well, we're not gonna. I'm just gonna skip ahead to again to where the piano plays. Uh, which was about, yeah, about here. Okay, not bad. So that actually makes a lot of sense because we can see that a lot of people are, um, you know, as they're sleeping, they're not really working, and as the, the sleep values fall down, um, the work values pick up. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'm also, I'm just going to maybe lower the volume on the piano a little bit here, just because the glockenspiel is kind of quiet. And, you know, let's just see what that's like. Okay. So uh, I'm going to add the last column of data, which is going to be 
participation in social life. We've got a lot of other options here, but I think three should be enough for now. And let's pick the marimba. I guess it's kind of a fun instrument, and participation in social life is fun. So let's stick with that. Um, I'm going to bring that also to four octaves. And let's do for the high, um, we'll do a 4x uh, descending. And that'll go to about, say that about there. And that'll kind of give us anything with sort of apart from these dips here. And we'll do another one for a lower range participation in social life. Marimba. And this one, we'll just do a 2x. Uh, let's make that ascending just to mix it up a little bit. And that one will go up to, we'll match where that was. Okay. So these values here are, they represent the kind of high and low range. So the, the highest range for that column is 0 0.1, because uh, I guess we don't really have more than 10% um, of the population doing participation in social life at any given time. I guess they got a lot of other stuff to do. Um, okay, so that should fill it out quite a bit. Let's, let's give that a listen. to skip ahead to late in the evening. Okay, so that's not bad for a few minutes. Uh, I think this piece gives us a good sense of how the day goes uh, from our data. Um, and it plays three data sources or three data columns against each other uh, in a fun way. And I think having different instruments distinguishes these three data columns but allows us to hear them all at the same time. And while you know the default simple behavior of two-tone starts with just kind of using pitch, we can see when we play with some of the more advanced features, um, you know, especially the filter, we can start to extract some more expressiveness out of it. Um, so now that our piece is done, we can click the export button and we can pick from a couple of file formats and export it right out to disk, which runs uh, in a few seconds pretty fast. And we'll be able to download that and do with it whatever we like. So. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm gonna we'll put the source data up online somewhere and provide a link, and um, give it a try. Um, thanks very much. Bye.